Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the onboard temperature sensor on the Pico and Pico 2 with MicroPython. This also works with the W versions of both Pico models. I'll be using VS Code as my code editor, but the code will also work if you're using another editor such as Thony. Now, let's start by looking at what's needed for this project. Okay, so other than a computer, you'll need a Pico or Pico 2 with or without Wi Fi and Bluetooth. A USB A or USB C to micro B cable, micro Python installed on the Pico, Python installed on your local computer, Visual Studio Code with the Python and Raspberry Pi Pico extensions installed. Now, before we get to building the project, let's go over what an analog to digital converter is, as the temperature sensor is connected to one on the Pico and Pico 2. So, what is an analog to digital converter? An analog to digital converter or ADC for short, allows the Pico to read from analog devices, such as a temperature sensor that could be in the form of a voltage signal. It then converts it into a series of digital numbers that the Pico's microcontroller can understand and process. There are two main features of an ADC. First is the resolution, which when converted to digital is measured in bits. The ADC on a Pico's microcontroller uses 12 bits for the resolution and conversion, but MicroPython will then convert that 12-bit number to a 16-bit number as that's what the machine library uses. From what I could find, the reason for the 12 to 16-bit conversion is broader compatibility with the various vendors' microcontrollers and MicroPython. The second is the number of channels. A channel is used to connect a device that provides an analog signal to an ADC. On both the Pico and Pico 2, there are three external channels which are connected to GPIO pins 26, 27 and 28, channels 0, 1 and 2 respectively, as shown in the diagram here. The temperature sensor is connected via a fourth dedicated internal channel of its own. On both the Pico and the Pico 2, the ADC is built into the microcontroller chip rather than on a separate chip on the board. Now, let's move on to building the project. To begin with, connect your Pico or Pico 2 to your computer. Next, open VS Code. Next, Click on the Raspberry Pi Pico extension and then select New MicroPython Project. I'll give the project a name and then specify a location to where to save it and then click Create. Once the new window is open and the files appear in Explorer, I'll rename blink.py to temp underscore sensor.py. The existing code here isn't needed, so I'll just delete that. Now I'll paste in the code to work with the temperature sensor. OK, so let's go over what this does. First, import ADC from the machine library. This allows us to interact with the analog to digital converter on a Pico. Next, a main function is defined, which will be where the main code goes for the program to be executed. Just below that, there's a doc string explaining what this function does and states that it returns nothing. Next, I'll define a new variable called sensor, which will be used to interact with the onboard temperature sensor by using ADC that was previously imported. There are two ways to interact with a temperature sensor. The first is the one I'm actually going to use, and that uses the ADC parentheses core underscore temp. The second is to just use ADC and then in parentheses four. As mentioned before, the temperature sensor is connected to a dedicated internal channel on the Pico, which is channel four. You'll notice that I've added some print statements for each variable, so you can see what the value is. These aren't required, but they're there just for demonstration purposes. After that, another variable called ADC underscore value is defined, and that will get the raw value of the temperature sensor as an integer. It will be stored as a 16-bit binary unsigned integer, which is what read underscore U16 is used for. Following that, another variable named sensor underscore reading underscore false is defined. This will then multiply the value of ADC underscore value by the result of the maximum voltage of the sensor, 3.3 volts, divided by the maximum value that it could be. 65,535 is the maximum value of an unsigned 16-bit integer. Next, we'll define another variable called temperature, which will convert sensor underscore reading underscore volts to an actual temperature in degrees Celsius. These two numbers here are specific to the temperature sensor used on the two picos. And finally, for the main function, print out the temperature to the terminal in both degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. These will always be to two decimal places, even if the result is, for example, 79.0, it will be shown as 
as for using the word deg instead of using the degree symbol, the Pico and Pico 2 both don't have an extended ASCII table. So the degree symbol is not available as it is the 176th number, if I remember correctly, on the table. And standard ASCII table is 128 characters long. There are workarounds, but for now, I'll go with this. Interestingly, though, if you run this in Thony with the degree symbol, it does show it. So I'll just add an example to this. If I just open another terminal down here and then just run Python in that terminal, you can access the ASCII table by just doing chr, then in parentheses, what character numbers you want. So in this case, I want 176. We can see it works there. If I do the same thing on MicroPython, chr176, it just comes up with two question marks. That's because MicroPython doesn't support it. And the last part of the file is to run the main function if the value of the dunder method underscore underscore main underscore underscore is underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Now I'll just save that. And now let's run it by right clicking anywhere in an empty space and then run current file on Pico. And there we go. As you can see, the temperature is shown in both degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Now to give you just another example, I'll just disconnect the Pico 2W I'm using and connect to Pico W and run the program again. There will be a big difference in the temperatures as the Pico 2W runs a little warmer than the Pico W. So you can see well, we're running a Pico W with an RP2040. So again, I'll just right click anywhere and then run file on Pico. And there we go. Yet again, you can see the temperatures. So I'll just bring this up a little bit. There's about a three and a quarter difference between the two in Celsius. And that's it for this project. If you like a copy of the code, it's available on GitHub using the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Pico and Raspberry Pi content, please drop a like, comment, and consider subscribing. There is a playlist on the left for Pico content, and on the right is another video that you might like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.